Hi everyone, this is Patricia from Tarot Crystal Love, and I'm so excited today! I'm really excited because I just got the Star Child Tarot! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just a little excited about this one. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to talk about which crystal I'm inspired to use with this deck. It's a very beautiful rainbow psychedelic kind of colored deck and it really represents for me angel aura quartz so you can see like that beautiful shine to them so angel aura quartz and a clear quartz i'm going to use the star of david because i love this i love this star and it's got a bunch of can't see them through this i don't think it's got a bunch of rainbows in there too so i feel inspired to have you know one on each side and this in the middle so that's going to be, that's what I imagine this deck um, needs. It's what I feel in my heart it needs. And I am stoked for this deck. So I've seen it on Instagram a lot. I've seen it around, but it's not like an Amazon deck. It's not easily accessible um, to get. You know, you have to like order it special. At least I thought you did. But because she's a local artist, apparently she lives on Salt Spring Island, I think. Um, and I can't recall her name now. Danielle Noel, and she lives in Vancouver, so I guess she has some decks floating around in certain places, and I'm already opening it up, so I'm trying not to. Um, so there was some at Banyan, and you know, I really, it's an expensive deck, it's like 65 bucks plus tax, which is a lot of money for me, and it's a lot of money for a deck, just in general, I don't tend to spend that kind of money unless it's like, like, just the creme de la creme and so for the money I was still hesitant to buy the deck even though everything was screaming inside of me please buy this deck so I thought okay I'm gonna knock on the deck I'm gonna shuffle it up I'm gonna pick one card I'm gonna ask the deck you know should I buy you and the nine of cups came so come on like the best card in the whole deck showed up and I'm like oh well okay I guess you're mine you're coming home with me so it's like kind of like adopting you know I'm adopting decks and this one adopted me I guess today and I'm very excited about it so I'm gonna open it up I already started opening up because I'm so excited so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna experience this deck together I didn't go through all the cards when I was at the store um, so yeah it has a really beautiful box this will last a long time the deck the, the box itself is gorgeous it's very sturdy it's got a nice nice um, examples of the pictures they're really small there and open it up it says we are all stardust in the inside of it that's beautiful and in the very back of the box this is what's inside it smells so good like it it really does it smells like I don't know something beautiful like incense and roses or awesomeness incense roses and awesomeness so this is the deck that comes with or this is the book that comes with it and apparently it's a 79 card deck and I'm so excited um, so yeah it's the star child Akashic version so I've noticed that there's two versions of this from what I've seen um, and I'm excited for this one. I also got to experience, I think it's called the Moon Child Tarot. I could be incorrect, but it's by the same artist. And um, I got to experience that one, and it was okay, but it didn't scream to me like this one did. Like, this one was just like, take me home now. So it's quite nice. It's got like the first few pages are black. Um, it's got the different tarot spreads that you can do. Celtic Cross, the past, present, future, you know, all the same stuff. Ooh, it's got an Akashic spread and a Starseed spread. How cool is that? I'm going to be definitely looking into those. Ooh, and a Metatron spread. Ooh, I love those. Those are some crystal paintings that I create as well, like that one in the back, the purple one. That's a Metatron. Metatron's cube. I created that. It's got all Herkimer diamonds in the center and all around it, so I just love that, uh, I love that uh, yantra. So it talks about the tarot, the major arcana, the minor arcana, and then it goes into like, um, oh neat, so every other page, so the wands, 
black on the first page and white on the other. So that's nice. It's like even in the book, there's a good balance of the dark and the light. So they talk about a lot of different things in here. Looks like um, each card, my major and minor arcana, gets a full page, which is kind of interesting. That's very cool. It's a good book. And it also gives you reverse meanings as well. And we'll see if, I guess, this deck is reversible. So it's in total 170 pages. It's a good little book. Again, sturdy, cute. You can bring it with you outside. Now to the cards. Oh my god, they're so nice. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this little thing. It's well packaged too. Um, just breaking the seal here. Just having a hard time. Wow, this card's dock is like, it's beautiful. It's like really thick and wow, I just love it. The edges are gilded so you can see the gold. Maybe you can't. There. Gold etching. Ooh, I love it. I love the backs. It's like the eye. And it's very beautiful. Like just gorgeous. <sighs> I'm very happy right now. <laughs> I'm giddy with happiness. So um, we're gonna go through this. It looks like they've replaced some of the um some of the other ones yeah like the fool it looks like this it's the star seed now so we'll just go through them star seed oh so beautiful the magician the high priestess the empress the emperor I like that it's a lion oh, that's freaking cool the Hierophant, the Lovers, I actually wasn't drawn to this card, I didn't like this card at all, it doesn't speak to me at all, so it's one of the, the cards that turned me off of this deck actually, I was like, hmm, maybe hum and haw, the Chariot, so very different imagery, I wouldn't say that this is a, for, um, definitely not for beginners, this deck, it's very different, Justice, ooh, I love Justice. That is a cool card. I love the coloring of it, like the purples and the pinks and the, oh, just so beautiful. Serenity, that's different. I'm not sure which one that would have been. I'm trying to see, because they don't have them numbered. Oh, they do have them numbered, very small. So five, six, seven, eight. Eight is justice, which is interesting, because usually eight is strength. And then I guess this is nine, which is usually the hermit, right? Yeah, so that's different. Wheel of Fortune is 10. Strength is 11. Hmm. I like the card, but I'm surprised that they would put it as 11. Wondering how this is going to go. 12 is perspective. So they've really changed a lot of this around, which is kind of cool. Um, 13, which is usually the death card, is transformation. So they've turned this into like a really positive deck. 14 is temperance. 15 is oppression. Hmm. Interesting. 16. Oh, they kept the tower in there. That's interesting. The tower is still in there. It's not as um, doom and gloom as it usually is. Not everything is falling apart, but there is some lightning there. So I'm interested to hear their interpretations. The star. Um, 18 is the moon. 19 is the sun. 20 is waking. So definitely changed a lot of cards in this. It's going to be interesting to do readings with this. I'm really excited to do some tonight. Uh, 21 is the universe. How beautiful. I'm loving all the sacred geometry on... A lot of these um, these cards here. Ooh, 22 is Akashic Records. That must be the 79th. 79th card, Akashic Records. This card, I did see this when I was going through it, and it spoke to me huge. I really love the deck because of this card. Ace of Crystals. 
I like that they changed. So crystals must be, let's just go through it really quick. Crystals must be probably earth, like pentacles. And they have swords. Then they have wands. And finally, cups. Yeah, so eight. So crystal crystals are pentacles. So ace of pentacles. I'll show you quickly again. Two of crystals. Or I should say ace of crystals. Two of crystals. Three of crystals. That's a cool card. Love that one. Four of crystals. I actually like this one quite a bit too. I saw this in the store and I was like, hmm, speaks to me. Five of crystals. All the moons it looks like to me. It's beautiful. Six of crystals. It's just ethereal, this deck. You know, that's the word that keeps coming to mind and trippy as hell. It reminds me of... You know, some of the beautiful places I've journeyed to while doing drum journeys or psychedelic journeys. It's quite beautiful. Seven of crystals. Eight of crystals. I love that one. Beautiful. Nine of crystals. Ooh. Sorry, I just looked ahead. The ten of crystals. I'm like, ooh, it's so good. Look at this. So beautiful. Page of crystals. Knight of Crystals. It's hmm. an interesting take on the knight. Queen of Crystals. Oh, I just love the sacred geometry in this. And the King of Crystals. I don't know. I don't really resonate with the King of Crystals. It looks like Colin Farrell to me. Colin Farrell is the King of Crystals. Okay. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. So far not as bleak as the Swords usually is. So I don't... Swords is one of my favorite... Um, is one of my favorite ones for working with shadow work and stuff like that. And so I'd like to see... Well, we'll see as we get into it. Maybe they are a little bit darker. Four of Swords. This one's okay. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, um, Seven of Swords. I would have preferred to see, to have seen a little bit more darkness or something, not dark, but just a little bit heavier uh, swords here. They're really, I don't know, the, the suit doesn't speak to me as much as it usually does. It's usually a very loud suit for me. This one's just kind of meh. Knight of Swords. Again, this looks like they're trying to use swords to be like very empowering. Like she's holding the sword instead of, you know, it's like she's gone through all the swords and she's holding it. And that's neat. We'll see how that affects readings. Um, Ten of Swords. This is beautiful. But again, doesn't really speak to me that much. Beautiful. But just not how the Ten of Swords usually speaks to me. You know, that one's usually like a really heavy card and... So I'm not sure if they use, oh, let's just check the deck. I want to check the deck for a second. So the Ten of Swords, let's see what they say about that. The Ten of Swords is known to show up during difficult life challenges, which are often traumatic, disastrous, or unexpected. This may all be an, also be an indication of lying or deceit from someone else, with the hurtful outcome of feeling betrayed. Know that despite the hardships, a new phase or beginning will transpire. So it's it's the same. Like, she's using the same expressions of the card even the nine of swords is very similar okay um but i just don't feel what she's writing about i don't feel it in that card like that doesn't scream disharmony or hurt or betrayal or deception to me but it does kind of go with the theme of this because this the theme of this is as above so below as above so below so i don't know um, I'll have to work with it and, and do another review after I've worked with it a little bit. Um, so Page of Swords, quite beautiful. Love all the phases of the moon there. Knight of Swords, this one speaks to me. This is beautiful. Queen of Swords. And King of Swords. Again, that king doesn't resonate with me. Hmm. 
Ooh, Ace of Wands. That's nice. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. <laughs> kind of looks like she's Freddy Krueger there for a minute. That's interesting. Four of Wands. Oh, I, like that. I really like that one. That's cool. Five of Wands. That's, these are really nice. I really like the Wands suit speaks to me quite a lot almost as much as the crystals maybe more seven of wands that's nice very different from like how the seven of wands usually is i mean there's some elements there that are similar but hmm it's interesting eight of wands nine of wands love that sacred geometry in the middle Reminds me of the seventh chakra, the lotus flower, or the lotus, the thousand petal lotus, you know? Ten of wands. Looks like Beyonce to me. <laughs> Beyonce. Ten of wands. Page of wands. Nate of wands. It's a, a hipster looking guy there. All the knights and kings just like... I don't really feel the knights and the kings in this deck very much. So, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Queen of Wands. But then, of course, until you work with the deck, you don't really know. But just from my initial appearance. And again, King of Wands. Ugh. Hmm. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. This is gorgeous. It's like... Dreamland, lucid dreaming land. Three of Cups. Four of Cups with the Siamese cat. Cute. Five of Cups. All the cups have crystals in them. That's neat. Six of Cups. Seems like every other cups has crystals in them. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. And Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. That's neat. Almost looks like right here and here that there are elephants coming out of the clouds or something. That's kind of neat. Knight of... The Knight of Cups. How interesting. So I guess the Knights are gender fluid. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. I like a woman being on a knight of club, a knight of cups, queen of cups. And finally, the first king that I actually like, the king of cups. I like that his face is kind of muted. You can't really see it. It kind of gives a better, better vibe than these other ones, which were, you know, like it felt like a picture of a supermodel or, or an actor or something. So that's cool. So I'm very excited for this deck. I'm very excited to play with it tonight and smudge it. I got some some beautiful um, sage. I'm gonna smudge it with that, and I'm excited to work with it. And I really feel like these. I'm gonna put some crystals on there. These crystals, and I'm gonna put them in the box with them. I think because they need to go there. Feels like it, and I'm very excited for this. And it was a good purchase, you know. Like I said, it was an expensive one for me but it's totally worth it. The next one that I'm looking to get is, I think it's called the Dark Mansion Tarot. That tarot, oh, it's so good. I wish it was available on Amazon or someplace where you didn't have to pay for all the shipping. Like, I really don't like paying for shipping um, on top of the already expensive decks. You know, I think that one's like 59 US, which in Canadian money is like, I don't know, five thousand dollars or something <laughs> because the rates are ridiculous right now. But no, it's probably like, I don't know, $59 is probably like 75 Canadian. So that's even more expensive than this deck. And But I think that this deck is more beautiful than that one. So I'm pretty happy with my purchase. So yay, I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to go and play. Um, so this has been the review for the Star Child Tarot. And thanks for, thanks for listening. And yeah, if you like this video and you want to, you know, 
give my page a like or not a, not a like what is it subscribe that's it if you want to subscribe I'd really appreciate that because uh, it's a new it's a new um, channel and I'm just uh, I don't know just enjoying doing this and looking forward to sharing more with you so thanks take care